I had an idea yesterday. I'm gonna go ahead and film this today and have you guys walk along with me. I'm not gonna walk through that soup because I don't have to. I've already done all the footwork. Um, I've been doing this all week. That's a TBI poopy, poopy little thing. Um, so I've been doing the leg work on this all week because I'm here at and Save in Mason, Michigan. And uh, they usually have quite a few Chevy trucks out here. There's one that I got. I don't remember what I took off that. I took something off of it. It's a Gen 353. Um, this is a Flex Fuel 5.3 in the Suburban. I've already looked at all this stuff. Um, I was thinking I, I need an engine for my wife's car. And I've been considering, you know, different things I could do. I, I've seriously considered a diesel swap. I've seriously considered finding a 455 for it. Um, I've seriously considered quite a few things and, and it comes down like always to money. For me and my life, money is a thing. You know, you always get these people who are like, let's build a search too and put two turbos on it. And well, for me, money's a thing. Um, so I have to do what's cost effective and, and what's cost effective isn't necessarily what's great. It's, you know, what's pretty good. Bang for my buck, right? So uh, I like that they put my name on these. It's pretty nice. Thank you, you pull. There is this uh, 2500 out here. So that's going to be a six liter LQ4. I don't know why those pistons look like 5.3 pistons because they're not. It's uh, very plainly a six liter. Uh, so I saw this and, and there's another LQ4 out here that I'm not showing you yet. But uh, I saw this and I'm like, man, that's a bummer. That Cause I always tell you guys get the most complete engine you can, right? Here's a good head gasket. I'm gonna save that. I always tell you guys get the most complete engine you can. And I saw this and I thought, man, if that other LQ4 is gone, I could still get this one and it, that would suck. But like, here's a good set of head bolts. Woo -wee. It's treasure time in the junkyard today. I'm thinking, you know, for me with the skill level I have, I could get this engine um, and there's a whole bunch of other parts over there and engine completes the same cost, right? And then I was thinking like, well, what's even better is, you know, the 706, 862 heads, um, they up the compression on an LQ4. That's what's going on in Daryl. So I can take all this stuff or all that stuff, put it on the LQ4 and have a complete engine. They're still gonna charge me 220 bucks, right? Then I had an even better idea. What if I build my junkyard dream engine? See here? 799 heads. This fender's already off. It's already gonna be fairly easy. To, they've already tore half the front of the engine off. Um, this is a L33, 5.3 high output. I didn't know that when I was thinking all this, looking at it yesterday, but I did post this up on Facebook on the driveway engineer group. So your L engine's always your, your L code's always your um, engine code and your M code is always your transmission. So L33 is high output aluminum with uh, the Corvette style heads. M30 is the 4L60 fail train transmission. Um, so yeah, what if I built like the junkyard dream engine? What if, what if I got an LQ4 through a set of 862 or these 799s on it. I don't know, I haven't decided. Um, and let's walk a little more. There's a 5.3 Trailblazer out here, right? What if I use those manifolds because they tuck tighter to the engine? Um, what if I grab that intake manifold because it has a four bolt, but it's cable throttle? Um, I'd like to go really far and take the 4L80 out of this also, but I'm not going to because I don't have the money. It, it, like I said, life always comes down to money for me, right? Um, 
But yeah, what what if I made, you know, the best poor man's LQ9? It's an LQ9, it's a high compression LQ4. So what if I made the best high compression LQ4 I could out of crap in the junkyard, right? And this is a 4.8, by the way. Um, I believe this has 862 heads on it. Like I said, I've already looked at all this stuff, so it's a bit of a, yes, yeah, 862s. It's a bit of a magic of Hollywood kind of thing. Um, this one doesn't have a harness or an ECU. But look, like everything's here somewhere. There's another 5.3. What's it got for heads? I don't know. I haven't looked at this one because I didn't care. 862s. Um, everything I need is out here. And what's really brilliant about all of this that just really totally made my day is the fact that see these engine hoists if you ever pushed one of these they suck out loud they're so horrible none of those wheels go in the same direction at the same time they're always all wonky doodle it looks like this one has pins to lock it that's nice um i've never pulled an engine here there's the door and here is my 1500 hd and this engine's coming out tomorrow um, it's more or less complete it looks like it probably met its end when it hit that pole um, cable drive it, it's pretty complete the bag didn't even deploy somebody came in here and got the dash um, so I'm thinking what I'm going to do for you guys, my viewers, and you share with your friends, is I get pretty tired. This is a 5.3 and a Trailblazer. I think this is an LH6. I might be wrong. <clears throat> the glove box is open because like I said, I already did all this. LM4. Okay, so this is an LM4. Like I said, this one's gonna have Oh no, that one has a three bolt intake, but it does have the in, the, in, the exhaust manifolds that tuck tighter, um, making it better for a swap. I'll find a truck to get in or something. The people I work with are pretty used to me showing up like all muddy and covered in dirt and smelling like raccoon pee, but I try to be somewhat reasonable. But you know, it's who I am. They all know that. This is where I found that push rod on the ground. Looks like that truck's gone too. Anyway, um, it's pretty brilliant because I'm gonna be right outside the door. The thing's already right there. So I should be able to have that front clip off and have that engine out. The transmission's already pulled out of it. Um, so it's halfway done. I should be able to have that engine out of that truck within I don't know, two hours. And then I can go focus on pulling some heads and uh, go from there. That is soaking wet. Wish I hadn't done that. Uh, thanks, Astro Van. So, yeah, I mean, let me, get, let, let me know what you guys think. I. I want to do a realistic build and I want to show what people can realistically make and for a realistic budget, okay? So that means Sorry about that. That means no LS3 heads, no stage 54 cam, um just what can you pull out of the junkyard for $220? And what I want to do is I'll put it all together so that I have an engine complete, right? Um, loosely, I'll just slap the heads on it with the MLS gaskets and uh, make sure I have rockers and make sure it spins over. If it doesn't spin over, uh, there's bearings and cranks out here. The junkyard will provide. I'm going to build an entire engine out here that spins over. Um, I want to make sure I get my starter, my alternator, my power steering pump, all the accessories 
all the coil packs some of the coil packs are missing off that engine uh, and I want to take it home clean it up a little bit and I don't mean take it to the machine shop or anything else I just mean you know run a bristle scotch right across the, the deck and copper spray to gaskets and run the bolts right back down on the new heads whether they're 799s or 862s I might put up a poll in the driveway engineer group I see what you guys want to do I don't think I'm going to be ambitious enough to pull two sets of heads tomorrow um, I'll probably take the 799s because they're worth more and I can sell them but yeah um, I want to see what we can make I think if I make 400 flywheel on the engine dyno that I win, you know, that this is more than enough for the average person who just wants to go cruise around and have a good time. Um, and I can do it for, I wanna buy a $220 CNCH harness off of Alibaba. And that's the PSI harness. I don't care what anybody says, PSI is important to them and they're reboxing them. They're not even reboxing them. There's drop shipping them straight to your door but you know people who buy psi harnesses get really really triggered when i say that but psi can't show me a single shot of their workshop um or ever respond to anybody's request for custom work but i digress um tuner pro i'm going to use tuner pro on the 411 pcm that's in it and ls droid thank you again peter sontag um, who's apparently here in Michigan with me. Maybe we can uh, meet up someday. But anyway, uh, yeah, I want to do this the driveway style, skip everything as cheap as possible, verify that it cranks over, that's all I'm going for. Um, run it on the engine dyno. I have a couple places where I can probably do that. I need to make some calls and uh, see what it makes see what you can get for 500 bucks so i, I think if i make 375 400 flywheel with, with trash off the ground at the junkyard you know then why are people spending thousands and thousands and thousands um ultimately i am going to jam a cam in it before it goes into my wife's car probably the summit 87 18 which is their low lift, high torque. You know, it's an improvement over stock, but it's not gonna set the world on fire cam, but it's an Olds 98 and she's gonna have a stock converter and she's just gonna cruise around and maybe pull a small trailer with it. So, you know, it is what it is. But I wanna see what we can make. Um, you guys let me know your thoughts in the comments or I actually have a community post on, on YouTube that a lot of you are responding to or if you're in the Facebook group um the driveway engineer facebook group you can let me know there there's an announcement up and uh i'll see you guys tomorrow i'll be out here in the rain and the mud doing the work so that you guys can have the knowledge i want to stay humble always and you know this is what it's about for me like enjoying a hobby cheap doing a burnout having a good time making cool sounds I i'm not trying to race I'm not doing the flying mile. I, I, I'm not going to SEMA. I don't have customers. I'm just a guy trying to have a good time and not spend all my family's money on it. So I think a lot of you are the same and I think that's why I've gained so many subscribers recently. But I appreciate all of you for watching and uh, I'm sorry I've rambled a bit here. I, I'm pretty excited to do this project. I hope you guys are excited to see it because it's been my experience that when I do these kind of technical things, people don't really tune in. It's more for controversy that they wanna, you know, I say 4L60 suck, I get 20,000 views in a week. But anyway, I've rambled enough, taken up enough of your time. You guys have a good day. I have a day off tomorrow. So hopefully it continues raining like this all day to keep people away from all my treasures. So I can show up at nine sharp tomorrow and pull them. And, uh, I thank all you guys for watching, so we'll see you next time on The Driveway Engineer.